Hi. Good to see, see you. I know. Shoot, last time I saw you, things were just kicking off for you with yeah. Vision of Love. Yeah. Your first record. I know. Come a long way. A I miss long... you. I haven't seen you in so long. How <laughs> nice. Well, I missed you, too. I am so excited to have you here today. I'm very excited to be here. Oh, well, good. Yeah. It has definitely been a long time. Are, are you surprised that you have sold as many records as you have and that you talked about the way you are? Just one of the greatest voices of our time. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I mean... I'm very surprised at all the success, and I'm very grateful for all the success mm -hmm. at the same time. So it's like, you know, I just try to do the best I can do, and, you know, I'm always totally super critical of everything that I do, and, mm -hmm. you know, I'll look back on things and say, ugh, I hate, I hate what I did on that really? song, or that video annoys me, I can't watch it change <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, things like that, but... Um, I'm just thankful to everybody who helped to make this happen for me, you know. Yeah. All the fans have been really cool and just just glad to be doing it. Well, do you ever have that feeling when you're in the studio, actually, and you're recording something, and it's like in the mix, uh -huh. and you're just about doing it, and you're putting the final mix on, and you go, oh, God, I hate the way that I did that. And Oh, yeah. Do you go back and do it, or you I've just... I've made them it... put a mic up while they're mixing. Really? <laughs> I'm not above making them let me go back in and redo it and then still hating it. It's just like that's the way I am. Like I'm really a perfectionist with things. And I think it's also because of, you know, writing the songs. I have like mm. such a vision of how I want them to sound. And mm -hmm. then sometimes they never really reach where I want them to be. But it's been really interesting because working, you know, doing a lot of different albums in such a short period of time has really taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, and especially doing the Christmas album, it was just more like a, like a fun interlude for me because I love Christmas time and mm -hmm. Christmas music and everything. And um, when I went into the to the studio to make it, it was like less of a stressful situation. You know, everybody wasn't so on top of me going, make it perfect, make it like this, make it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was more like my own space to really just sit there and look at it and say, you know, this is a Christmas album, it's fun, I'm going to have a good time, uh -huh. I'm going to do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do, so we had a good time, and I brought some special guests who sang on it with me, but they'll be here later. They wouldn't like let it. me come here without meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Well, I like your background, so mm -hmm. the price Yes, is. Kelly and Cherie. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Well, I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, did you, do you produce? Yeah, I co-produced the album, and I wrote three new Christmas songs. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, the hope that one of your songs would be considered a classic one day? Wouldn't that be nice to have a classic Christmas song? I would love it. I mean, I'm not going to be, you know, that arrogant as to say, well, you know, this will become a classic or that's a classic, but I'm very happy with them. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I had a great time uh, writing the Christmas songs because when you're writing, you know, a Christmas song, it's a totally different perspective than writing just yeah. a regular song. You know, you're like thinking about, okay, what do I think about like at Christmas time? And you're drawing on a whole bunch of different emotions. Right. So um, it was really cool. And then recording them, just doing a, a Christmas album in general is a totally different feeling, you know, and vibe than being in there doing a new album. But I think it really helped me as far as my new album that I'm working on now because it gave me like a, a much like a a fresher outlook on recording and just mm -hmm. making it more loose. And yeah. Is it easier to write a Christmas song or is it harder? Well, I have basically three different types of Christmas songs on this record. One called Jesus Born on This Day is really like a traditional hymn mm -hmm. that I wrote that's um, very like spiritual and it was a lot of fun because we brought some little kids in there and they sang with us my backup singers, nieces and nephews and little sisters and stuff and that was really cool so that takes it that's a totally different perspective it's much more spiritual mm -hmm. then i did one that's like really kind of fun and like old-fashioned like you know very like 60s retro called all i want for christmas is you mm -hmm. very ron x type of a vibe and uh missy most at christmas um is the one i think we're going to play yeah, today yeah. and it's very like kind of a sad reflective christmas song because not everybody is happy at the holidays you know what i mean a lot of people get very mellow and thinking about people that have passed or that, you know, aren't with them anymore. So that was kind of my point of view on that song. Right, okay. Um, you, know, uh, you, you ran into some controversy about your heritage, your background, mm -hmm. are you black or white and, mm -hmm. and all of that. Did, um, when that was, when you were going through that, um, what were your feelings, what were your thoughts, and did you ever address it head on? Um... It's very, very difficult to even, like, get into that because 
I don't think people could understand it unless they like lived in my shoes and really knew how hard it was because it's very tough to be interracial it really is mm -hmm. because you never know how people are relating to you perceiving you you know what I mean and I personally never really felt like one way or the other I always felt like I was very much like an outsider to everything mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. not feeling like one thing or another and that's why I don't know it was just very very it made me feel good to be embraced by all different, you know, hmm. charts and things like that, um, mm -hmm. because it made me feel like it's okay to be who I am. I don't always have to worry about, you know, well, maybe they're thinking I'm um, this, or maybe they think, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, it's right. like, why does it have to be about that? Right. You know, my father's black in Venezuela, my mother is Irish, you know, I should be able to be a combination of those things and not have to worry about, but what are you? You know what <laughs> right, I mean? But right. which one of those three things are you? It's like, I'm all of them, mm -hmm. and that's who I am. Mm -hmm. To deny one would be to deny myself, right. you know, so I have to be everything that I am. That's it. So you are comfortable with that now? I mean, you've come to grips with that, and, and, and it doesn't bother you like it did before? Um, I think that people are more bothered by it than I am. Yeah. I think other people have a lot harder time dealing with me being multiracial than I do. Mm -hmm. It's fine for me. Right. I don't think about it. But other people like to be able to pinpoint you and to kind of stereotype you and say, what are you? Where right. do you fit in to my puzzle so I know how to categorize you? You know what I mean? Right. I don't need to categorize myself because I'm me. Mm -hmm. But other people, yeah. you know, don't have the same outlook. And that's understandable. Hopefully one day we'll be able to deal with each other really as people and not, you know, yeah. categories. But you know, it's, it's the same thing happens in your career too, doesn't it? Right. I mean, not, and I'm not just just talking about you in particular. Right. But people always want to. Well, what kind of music are you an R&B artist or are you pop? Right. You know, what do you do? They want to categorize it. Right. So you deal with that in your personal life and on a professional level too. Well, the truth is, I mean, people. There can be a rap song that comes out and it's the biggest song on the rap charts and it crosses over and suddenly it's pop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. It's not about what are you making when you go, you know, make the record. They thought it was a rap song. Suddenly, you know, kids in the suburbs are buying it and so therefore it's pop. Right. You know what I mean? It's all about how many people relate to it and, you know, that it's, it's crossing boundaries and that's, and it's all good. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It doesn't have to be well, you crossed over, so, you know, therefore, you know, we don't respect you anymore. Right, you're no you know. longer R&B. Right. You're pop. Exactly. <laughs> it's all where, where you're coming from inside, and that's yeah. how I look at it. And I know that not everybody looks at it that way, and that's cool with me. Yeah. You know, I can only be who I am. Right. <laughs> We're going to take a look at uh, your latest video. Okay. okay. Miss you most at Christmas time. This is Mariah Carey. And it's so pretty, Mariah Carey, and miss you most at Christmas time. I'm Donnie Simpson. Mariah is our guest today on Video Soul, and we'll be back with her in just a couple of minutes. And we are wishing you all a Merry Christmas. It's like Christmas came early it here is. today on Video Soul. But you know what? We wanted to get you into the holiday spirit a little bit early. Can I give you a little gift as a gift for you? Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we better introduce our guest. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. we have two new guests. Okay. I, forgot. I forgot we didn't do some. This is Sheree. Hi, Sheree. Hi. And Hi. Kelly Price. Hi. The Hi. Price Sisters. Wonderful. Yeah. The Price Sisters, also known as the Price Sisters. <laughs> and my two wonderful backup singers. And we're minus one tonight, Melanie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she's also often lumped in with the Price Sisters, but her name is Melanie Daniels. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because she sings with them, she's often called a Price a Sister. Price. So she likes to refer to herself yeah. as the Milkman's yeah. kid. Yeah. <laughs> she, can, she can be a Price Sister. So oh, we, just, we just got done doing a concert for the Fresh Air Fund for this new charity that I'm working with. And mm -hmm. we brought you a little sweatshirt. Yeah. That goes oh, okay. with my, my camp that we're doing here. Camp Mariah. Yeah. Oh, that's too cool. And yeah. it's with the Fresh Air Fund, and what they do is they bring kids, like, from the inner cities that have never been to the country before, mm -hmm. you know, and that may be stuck in the city throughout the summer and never get a chance to, like, you know, experience those things. Mm -hmm. They bring them um, up to the country and to a camp, and this particular camp is a career awareness camp where they teach kids about, like, different things they could be, you know, yeah. like doctors, lawyers mm -hmm. come up there, talk mm -hmm. show hosts. Yes. Singers, by now, the you invited way. me to come up there. I did invite you to come up, I and I want you to know the invitation was supposed to be exactly. 
Exactly. Yeah. So well, I am. <laughs> you can't disappoint those trees. <laughs> no, oh, no, I, I definitely oh, yeah. plan on coming. And we have, um, yeah. it's very ironic because Kelly and Cherie are graduates of the Fresh Air yeah. yeah. right? program yeah. for like how long? Yeah. Like seven, seven, seven years. years. Right? Wow. Seven years you said it was a real program. Yeah, yeah, it was a godsend because we grew up in the projects mm -hmm. and um, we were able to see another side of life actually yeah. by going away in the summertime. And so don't let anybody fool you out there. Don't make them think that just because you're from the projects that you have to stay there. Right. Exactly. Wow, that's great. So this yeah. is a good program because, you know, it's giving people a chance. And especially this career awareness thing because it teaches kids about things that they may never have known about. Like mm -hmm. they'll learn about different careers and yeah. things that you know, probably never would have come into their awareness. So. Yeah, and you did a concert yeah. recently yeah. that you raised like seven hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Quarter of a million dollars yeah. raised yeah. to keep this going. And the kids are really cool. You know that we work with. They were like really fun. Yeah, yeah. excited. They, had a ball. <laughs> they tried to participate in the concert. They did. <laughs> <laughs> but before cool. I forget, let me bring a little present yeah. that we got for you here. Yeah. Yeah. Get you into the wow. into yeah, the Christmas kidding. spirit a little bit early here. Jeez. Here's your Christmas card. I drew a little um, Christmas tree yeah. for him yeah. here. My artwork is yeah. <laughs> You're you better can... artist than me, believe me. <laughs> anyway, Should let me I help you. Should I open it and read it? Well, or? you can. You maybe want to read it later. Okay. A little personal message for you. But I'm going to help you open this right. here because I have to tell you what this is. Okay, this is for you to get into the Christmas spirit. Isn't yeah. that cute? Yeah. Uh, uh, that, uh, that is not that's Rudolph. Beautiful. That is that is not brother. That's Rudolph. Randy. Randy. That's his brother Randy. Randy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, yeah. And because we Randy. Because we worked on the Christmas album all year through like yeah. throughout like every holiday, we brought you this Halloween mask mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Because we had Christmas that all year long. Right? We celebrated yeah. Christmas. We had oh, cool. yes. Thanksgiving Thanks, turkey yes. for Christmas for you. Mm -hmm. A little chocolate. Then oh, we have cool. uh oh, the bunny. He looks like he's suffocating. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. The Easter the bunny. Easter bunny. Yeah, oh, Christmas yeah. was doing oh. Easter too. Oh. How cute. His name Still is has his Valentine's Day. We have the Valentine's Day heart, because yeah. you're our Valentine. So I'm Valentine's Jewish, so what did you bring me for Hanukkah? Uh, hey. For Hanukkah, we brought you an American flag <laughs> <laughs> to represent all the nationalities <laughs> of the world. And oh, here's your Christmas stocking. here's your Christmas yeah. stocking. And it has no runs in it. No. <laughs> Okay, well, so <laughs> Merry right. Christmas, well, Happy Hanukkah, Happy, 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 Happy New Year, Year. Happy, Happy Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa. Yeah. Happy, Happy Kwanzaa. everything. Oh, thank Matter you fact, very oh, much. Yeah. Yeah. And Happy Ash Wednesday. Wednesday. Right. 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 No ashes? <laughs> If you look hard if enough, you, you may find them. them. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much. That's very sweet. But before I finish this, can I do one more thing? I don't want to yeah. get too crazy with this gift giving, but oh, no. this is a surprise to you guys because you've been here for me for so many things. I got hey, you some presents. Oh my yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness. I don't know if we want to open this right oh, now. But yes, you we know do. what? Do you want to open it? Yes, we I do. I think we do want to open this. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. What's your question? Can you a nice thing to open this? I'll help you. If you don't open you know it for the next three years, they'll be asking me on the street. Daddy, what did he give? What did he give? If anybody's watching this, you can get me a bag just like this that I will gladly open on you. Oh, don't start. Don't tell me you did. I need some help. Read this. Donnie, help me open this box. Okay, Where's my knife? It says, it's for these Charmaine, were my real nails, and I wouldn't have to worry about Shereen, breaking them. Merry <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> baby love. Love, MC. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, I got you this because every time I see you with your bags, you guys make a comment that, <laughs> that it's fake. <laughs> So I got you the real one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God, you did. No, you wait did. a second. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> she did. Wait a minute. Not to do oh any sponsoring. God. We don't want to, like, sponsor yes. anything, so maybe you better not that focus on you it. You are kidding. But this is good for oh you. can put your pampers in here. Yes. For the baby. Oh, my God. When we were doing the Christmas the oh, Christmas album, we had two new births from these two, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. I had yeah. a little boy, and my sister had a little girl. Oh, my God. You can carry them. Channel five bag. Exactly. We're running out of time, but Mariah, this is I brought this for you. Very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Getting